Hello everybody, my name is Joe Wong, and this series of videos is brought to you by Civic Leadership USA, Ding Ding TV, and is co-sponsored by APAPA and the 8020 National Asian American PAC. Today I'm going to talk about affirmative action, college admission. Three things I'm going to talk about is why is college admission so controversial, especially among Chinese Americans. Secondly, does a elite college degree set you up for life? Thirdly, how does the University of California, for example, handle this problem of diversity? Chinese culture attach very great importance to education as a means of enhancing a person's net worth and career. China's imperial service system examination play an important part in the Chinese history of education. Many Asian American parents are willing to sacrifice a lot of time and money so that the kids can go to a good college. The mission policy of Harvard and other elite universities elite university are not transparent and have higher bars for Asian Pacific American applicants requiring them to have higher SAT scores, scoring them lower on personal traits, and in general place higher barriers on them. Uh, you have heard about people sacrificing a lot to go to elite college. Here's an example of a family spending up to $6.5 million to get the kids to Stanford University. And this is not unique to Asian American. Many uh, mainstream American, you know, including several uh, actresses and so on, uh, are willing to spend money to get the kids to the elite college. And then Julia Roberts, the other actress, is, is saying that, is it worth it? Because you want your children to live their life. You don't want to live your, their life for them. So uh, that's controversy there. Uh, you can see Asian American has very, very uh, sensitive about uh, college admission. Uh, and also, Harvard rate Asian American lower on personality traits. Uh, does an Ivy League college set you up for life? Well, it shows up that people that went to Ivy League college generally make better money later on in life. But is it due to the fact they went there or because they have better connection because they come to well-to-do family? By the way, one-third of admission from Ivy League College is due to legacy. In other words, you have a family history in Ivy League College, chances of you getting in are much easier. Is a college degree worth it? Uh, many people say that C student in turn and later on in life tend to do better because they are willing to think outside of the box. They don't have to chase the grades. They, have, they can question the teachers. So later on, they become much better business person and rather than just going to elite college. So this is controversial. Uh, okay, how does University of California handle affirmative action and diversity? In the 70s, a person named Baker sued UC Davis because he could not go to medical school, whereas some minority with lower qualification gets to medical school. This case went all the way up to the US Supreme Court. By a vote of five to four, they say that a quota system is not allowable, but promoting diversity is okay. So what UC system did is to decide to take the top 9% from any school. As you know, a school from Cupertino compared with a school in the rural area, uh, as you finish in the top 9%, you're eligible to go to the UC system. As a result, from 1999 to present day, the amount of Asian American uh, enrolled in UC system is about 40%, whereas uh, this is pretty steady. This is one of the ways that you can play fair 
and value diversity as well as college admission. I hope this video sheds some light on affirmative action and diversity and college admission. Thank you.